So hi guys, welcome to the part four of this chat application series. So today we are going to see how we can add some encryption in our data so that the database stores our message like this and I am also not able to read the message whatever it is written here so it would be decrypted to the device only. And I have made some of the UI changes in our application so if you are interested in that I will give the link to that commit in the description so that you can go and check that out. And I have made some of the changes in our uh, Firebase data uh, data structure also. So instead of just directly having chat rooms, all the chat rooms here, we are what we are doing, we are creating a chat room collection here that that contains the collection of uh, all the chat rooms with their names. So this this is the general chat room, and if we go into this, it uh, will have a uh, it will have a message collect collection of messages, and these messages will have all our messages document here so if you are if we are having some more details about this chat room then we are going to add that field here and for doing that in our code we have changed this uh, collection id to chat room uh, slash our room id and then our messages uh, while we are like receiving messages and while we are sending messages and we are going to use Crypto.js for encrypting our data using its AES uh, encryption and one thing to remember that is you cannot use the latest version of Crypto.js in React Native you need to use a version that I will specify uh, in this video so let's just start by installing Crypto.js in our uh, application so we need to install the version named as crypto js at the rate 3.1.9 minus 1 this is the latest version that you can use in react native if you are going to use some version with 3.2.x or 4.x.x that it will give you error so remember to use this version only so now we are going to create some function that would be used to encrypt and decrypt our data so for doing that we are going to create a folder named utils and then we are going to create a file named aes.js in our uh, folder that will export to function encrypt and decrypt so that we can use that in our, on all our other files and in our aes.js file first of all we are going to import uh, crypto.js from crypto.js and then we are going to uh, define our key also in our uh, project and then we are going to use that key uh, for encrypting and decrypting our data so <coughs> this AES uh, uh, algorithm takes a word and a key so that it will encrypt that word according to that key and it, it, it will need the same key to decrypt the word also so now we are going to create a file named as secret key dot js and I just defined a key here export default and we are going to give it a key as spider monkey let's say and you should add this secret key dot js file to your git ignore also so that it would not be pushed to your github it would be private to you so you can add this by writing secret key dot js and now we are going to import uh, uh, this key from there import key from secret key and now we are going to define our two function and we are going to export it also so constant encrypt that will take a word as argument and it will return a encrypted uh, word so it will return crypto js dot aes dot encrypt and now we are going to give it a word and a key so our word would be this uh, uh, word from prop and our key is that we have defined and now we are going to convert it to string and we are going to define another function decrypt that would also take a word that would be that encrypted word and now it is also going to uh, 
decrypt that word so we are going to return crypto js dot aes dot decrypt and then we are going to give it a word and a key and then we are going to convert it to string but now we need to give it some algorithm to like some encoder to convert that string to convert that thing into string so we uh, we have that encoder from crypto js also crypto js dot encoder dot utf8 you can learn about this encoder by going into google also and now we are going to export these two functions from here So now we are now in our chat door chat screen to JS file and now we are going to import the two functions from there encrypt and decrypt from dot dot slash utils and then AES and now we are going to encrypt our message from here so first of all whenever we are sending a message we need to encrypt it and we are going to give it to the function encrypt and now uh, while rendering the data to the screen we just need to decrypt this uh, value that we are getting in the flat list so we'll use decrypt here so now we are done with our uh, encryption and decryption and let's try to run it in our devices our app is working completely perfect and our data is also is stored in this encrypted form is in our database and in the further video we are going to add uh, some uh, user id to our application and we are going to use redux for state management in our application uh, so that the user can log into different devices also if we want to instead of we are just using that uh, a unique id from our devices uh, so stay tuned if you want to learn Redux. So that's all for today's video. If you are enjoying the content then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.